beautiful. Hey, welcome back to another episode. I launched today at Chalmette. I'm right outside the Great Wall. There's a huge flood structure here in the winter time. Lots of people come here to catch trout. The big trout move into these waters a lot during the winter time. I'm gonna be fishing some twitch baits along these rocks out here to see if these big trout have moved in. The water temperatures have been just ridiculously high for this time of year. I thought they were gonna be dropping. They've actually risen to like 70 degrees. Let's see if we can catch some big trout. There we go. Oh, nice trout, nice trout. That's what we're after. Oh my goodness, on the jig. Yes, what a beautiful trout. I wanted it to happen on a jerk bait, but I switched to a jig. Yes, indeed, baby. Trout number one, let's see how big he is. He's 19 inches. Beautiful. Yes, baby. Oh my goodness. You know, it, with this big long stretch of rocks, it's tough to decide to stay where you just caught a couple of fish or just keep moving because they could be concentrated right here or it could just be one of those things where you just keep moving down the bank and pick them up as you go. Nice trout. This is a good one. Be a trout, be a trout. Feel that head shaking. Oh yeah, nice trout, nice trout. Beautiful. That's what we're after. Beautiful trout. He's 18 inches. Nice. There he is. There he is. Another nice one. <clears throat> Not the biggest trout in the world. What in the world? Gotta be a red fish. Sure I could go up and down this shoreline throwing a jig and pick up a few more. I ended up catching every single one of them on a 3 8 ounce jig head with a shrimp creole matrix shad. So it's not my favorite way to fish but 
it is how we ended up catching our fish today. So I'm gonna run in the marsh and see if I can find some bass. It's been pretty easy to do, and let's see if we can find them. I just found a, a little ditch that might be full of bass. I just caught two in a row. There's the third one. Oh, missed it. Yes, it is full of bass. Let's see if we can catch a limit in this little channel. Number This is one of the main reasons that it sucks to launch here. That lock closes sometime. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. Stay tuned. We've got more big trout action coming this winter. This water temperature's got to start dropping at some point. We'll catch you on the next episode.